Just incredible. Just incredible, man. Just incredible. Run the thing, eh? Run it. Welcome to it, the Just Incredible podcast, live in beautiful Los Angeles, California. I'm Just Incredible, and I got my boy here, Little Tekka, man. Mm-hmm. Thank Good you for having you, me, man. bro. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. It's been a minute since I've seen you, my boy. Definitely been a minute. Seen you just a lot minute. of growth, man. Just climbing, man. Just yeah. still killing, man. So it's, it's good to you know reconnect with you today, bro. For sure, bro. How's things been with you? I mean, we got the new album. It's yeah, everything out. been great. Dropped the album. Congrats. Got new music out, new videos out. Feels good. You're doing a lot of videos, huh? Yeah, we did a few videos. Your fans right? love it. Yeah. Your fans love it. Yeah, they've been going crazy for sure, for sure. How's it feel to get the album out, man? It feels great to have some new music out, just to have some new songs for the fans to just yeah. go crazy to, because yeah. that's all they've been waiting for. Right. So it feels like the job is done. Yeah, no doubt, man. I mean, you've definitely been, been putting in the grind for some years now, like because you started at a real early, young age. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, how do you feel your... You know, like, what have you learned, you know what I'm saying, in the process since the, some of the early, you know, success you had with songs like Ransom and mm-hmm. like, stuff like that? Uh, definitely just gotten better at rapping, mm-hmm. gotten better at learning what I like, what I don't like. Um, just just learning the whole game. I'm still a student of the game, of course. I'm still very, very new in this, but I spent some time. I've been around the block a few times yeah, now, you yeah. know, so I know a few things. For sure. I got some tricks up my sleeve. Yeah, man. no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, man, I mean, yeah, you got... The, the album just has like a real personal feel to it as well. Mm-hmm. feel like you really opened up on this project. Yeah, it was definitely a vo- very vulnerable mm-hmm. and mostly personal because it's, it's literally called tech. Right. Like, that's what all my guys call me, the whole gang. So more personal than other projects. I'm speaking about different type of topics, different things I've been through, different things I'm going through and got through also. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of everything. Yeah. And it's not even... Like going through stuff in a negative way, cause I'm flexing on there too. I'm I'm talking my shit too. So <laughs> that part, that part, it's, it's really just that. Sixteen songs on the project. Mm-hmm. Is it hard to narrow it down? Nah, because we didn't really want it to be very extended to begin with. I'm glad you didn't do like a 25 song or man. Mm-mm. Yeah, I didn't really want to do that. Sixteen is a nice, sweet very spot. digestible, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Very. Di- I feel like it's a sweet spot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, man. You got a couple songs we're playing on the radio right now. Heaven on Earth. Hell yeah. You and Kodak. Hell yeah. What was it like connecting with Yak on the track, man? It was crazy. I feel like it was it was fire. Yeah, that part. For Super sure. fire. Like. I don't think it it came out bad or no, it came out anything. Great. I think it came out great. Yeah, that, so for sure. Seeing that happen is it's just another like, okay, let's keep collabing with people that we can make fire stuff with. Yeah, dope, and, dope moment, man. You've also been a fan of uh, Kodak, right? Yeah, like ever since your younger days and yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. that was a full circle moment for you, right? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Was for that sure. organic? How it connected, or how did that come about? Um, we didn't get in the studio for the song. I kind of made it on my own. It was like he was sound fire on this, and then got him on it that way, but. I still feel like it was very organic because people could say no. I was yeah. going to say, so, yeah. yeah. You don't have to say yes yeah. to it. People don't got to say yes. Yeah. So. 500 Pounds, another record, going mm-hmm. going nuts. Uh, talk to us about creating that song, man. That song, okay. Yeah. I was in the studio with, with the guys, of course, and Rio played that beat. He told me Taz made the beat, too. I spent like 30 minutes writing the song. After I made it, I knew it was fire. Fire, fire, fire. Because it was just so left for what I was doing. Right. So having something that separated itself from the the whole crowd of songs I had, it was like, it was special to me. Yeah, no doubt. You knew like right away as soon as you was done. One hundred percent. Those ones. One hundred percent. Was the room collectively in agreement on it? Do you have? I'm moments, pretty sure. Right. I'm pretty sure everyone yeah. thought it was fire as me. Do you have moments like that where 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 you know I'm sure you got a small circle, mm. but who do you really like lean on? Like, yo, I think this is dope. But what do y'all feel about it? Just every everyone that I allow in the studio. Mm-hmm. Is because I trust their ear. Yeah. Like, so they know who they are. Taz. Yeah. Rio. Even even G. Even Nero. Even my even my person that be recording me. If you not if I don't trust what you doing. Yeah. You're not in the room. You can't get close to the room. So uh-huh. those are the only people I go to and be like, okay, you think this is fire? Yeah. We all understand. And they'd yeah. be like, yeah, okay. And I'll be like, okay, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes they'd be like, okay. You could do better, and I'm I'm like, okay, I see where I see what you're talking about, and then there be sometimes where they be like, you could do better, and I'm like, nah, this is hard, you know. So yeah, stand on it. It's just like those people you got around that you trust to. And no yes man can't just have the yes definitely man. no yes man definitely no yes yeah. man at that's all good. that's good though yeah you can't have no yes man around I love hearing that that creative process and kind of what goes on in your mind mm. as you're 
creating these songs, man. Yeah, you can't have people around you thinking about if they say the wrong thing, you're going to get mad because... Can't be like that in the studio. That don't matter. Right. Like, yeah. everyone's opinion matters. Right. Like, and of course, the person that's creating, they're going to have the last say, but everyone's opinion matters. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, man, you've had a lot of a lot of joints, man. A lot of successful joints that we've played, you know what I mean? From Ransom to Did It Again, Never Left. Yeah. These are strong records, man. Yeah, I feel like Did It Again was like my first song where I dropped and people was like, yo, he's, he might not just be a facade. This ain't then, a one. Yeah, this one, not like just like a, a one yeah, because Did It Again thing. was still super, super early. Yeah, 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 for sure, for so, sure. It was still like in that point where it's like, okay, is he fire? Is he not? And then did it again. Drop was like, okay, he's fire. Yeah, man. What was it like though at that? Because you, you said you've been making music since when? Early, like early. I was probably sixteen, fifteen. No, like thirteen, fourteen. Even earlier. Wow, wow. Because I remember even meeting you for the first time. I think seventeen, eighteen. Mm -hmm. um, was the transition into stardom? You know, was that tough for you? Because we talked off offline a little bit about events you go to where you just swarms of people coming at you you know what i mean and mm -hmm. you know when you make these songs in your bedroom at first do you do you realize like it's going it, it could get this crazy the fans just love your music man when i make a good song i definitely be like okay this could touch the world but whenever i experience that firsthand i don't really reflect on it too much because i don't i don't like letting that stuff like that get to my head right right like i like just like keep doing what I'm doing. I don't want to just think about the result that could come from it. Because if I do what I do right, that's going to come regardless. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You like performing live and everything? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. What's, what's one, of your one, one of your favorite things about getting on that stage and connecting with your fans? Um, Just seeing them, for real. Actually getting to see them in person instead of just seeing them through Instagram comments or views right, or likes right, and stuff like right, that. Right, right. Just like that experience like yo this is this is my tribe yeah. right here yeah you know and the way we connect is through my creation yeah man so it's really good to see that relationship have life yeah yeah a a a from a performance aspect do you really f i'm sure you feed off the energy too 100 percent you 100 percent because i feel like there's only certain human gatherings that have the same energy as concerts and i would say that's like sports events mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and maybe like parades and stuff like that yeah. when everyone is on the same side like yeah you know and, it, and the sports events is kind of different because you might have two different teams and it, <laughs> some it's like that are but really happy and then yeah the but just, is not winning, but just not ha so even that it's like having an opposition or having something you're against just makes you go for what you're going for even harder that's right yeah true so. true true i see a lot of comments you know, when I'm looking at your Insta your videos, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and things of that sort, where, you know, people speak about, you changed their life, man. They listen to your music. They go from a, a bad day to a good day. Do your fans do the same for you at times? 100%. Right. Because I'm nothing without my fans. Mm. Like, if I, don't, if I don't have people that support me, I don't, no one knows who I am. Right. So... Every time my fans show up, it's a good day. Yeah, no doubt. What do you want to tell your fans, like your L.A. fans specifically that are listening right now? Go to Shake Shack instead of In-N-Out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what That's I want to tell you. That's how you feel? Go to Shake Shack. Instead of In-N-Out. Go to Shake you Shack. You saying In-N-Out's mid? Yes. Oh. No, no, yes. no, I'll say no. that every time. You Every really time. feel that way, huh? I 100% feel that way. And the fries taste like rocks. Oh, you gonna take us to the French fries? Well, the, fry, the fries are mid. The fries you feel like fries. the French fries are in and out are mid? It but depends I, how they're cooked, bro. But I, but I also but it feel, shouldn't be like that, though. It should be to, you're going to a chain. It should be the same thing every time. It's like a, it's a formula. True. You shouldn't true. have to worry about if you go there too late, my fries gonna be like rocks. <laughs> so you yeah. notice that, like, sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. The burger is okay. The burger's cool. Yeah. But the fries, I can't. Just eat a burger. I, I, I need my burgers and my fries. The fries got to so, be cooked I, right. Sometimes them shits are a little too crunchy, man. Yeah. In and out. They like rock. Sometimes they're a little too uh, too cold. <laughs> they're a little too cold at times. Too. And how is that possible if you go into a drive through Yeah. I don't, that's a bad ding on at? their reputation. Yeah, bro. It's a bad ding. That's what I'm saying. That's good what I'm Tech, Tech and I rocking with, with, with In-N-Out. In they're going to have to way. figure out the fry situation. Yeah. 
What's one of the biggest lessons you've learned in this music business, man? Trust your gut. Yeah. Trust your gut. Because that gut feeling is something that can go away. So trust it and strengthen that feeling. Strengthen it, right? Because there's so much noise coming at you all the time. Exactly. Don't get lost in the noise. Don't get lost in the wind. Because mm. you're going to get dropped off somewhere. <laughs> you're like, damn, I was just where I wanted to be at. And don't get your head up in the clouds. Because this shit could be here today and gone tomorrow. That part. For that real. That part. Man. Uh, growing up in New York, man, who were some of your musical influences? Who were you listening to? Speaker Knockers, Michael mm -hmm. Jackson, Chief Keef. The first album I ever bought was a Coldplay album. That was like nice. a birthday gift. Wow. But the first album I ever listened to was Dangerous. Mm. Michael Jackson. Yeah, That's I just crazy. had like a, um, it was like this little CD player in my house and I just put it in there. I just spanned it. It was like my first time ever listening to music with headphones. I was like, this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Chief Keef, man. Yeah, Chief Legend. Keith, for sure, for Legend. sure, for sure. Uh, and Speaker Knockers too, last time you gave them a shout out on, on the show as well. Mm -hmm. I thought that was super dope. Yeah. Anyone you haven't collaborated with that you'd like to? Still? No. Nah. No. Just you just taking it as it comes. If it's organic mm -hmm. and, and, and the music works out, you're with it. But yeah. there's not like a wish list necessarily. Definitely not. You don't want to force nothing. Definitely not. Yeah. I, I really respect that. I really respect that. Cause I'm just do... doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. Like you always have though. Yeah, I'm just doing my own thing. Yeah. For real, for real. So when putting this record out. Like we said, you got very personal. Mm. Was that a conscious decision where you said, hey, on, on this one, I want to give the fans a little bit more? And was that choice tough for you at all? Yeah, because I feel like with my music and just who I am, to people, I was more of like a, a profile or an official music video <laughs> instead of a person. Mm. Like, this is where he came from. This is what he kind of been through. So I just wanted to add a little more context. You have to do that, man. Like, I feel personalize like. myself a little bit more. Right, right, right. What's like a couple of your favorite songs off the project? I know they're all your babies, but... Dead or Alive is one of my favorites. 500 Pounds. Um, nice records, man. Tech. The song Tech on there. Yeah. Tech's like super personal. Yeah. And I like Heaven on Earth. Great records, man. Those oh. are the ones. Y'all definitely got to check it out. Run them numbers Those up, man. Those are my favorites. Project's officially out right now. 16 songs on there. Yeah. A lot of the, the team, right, as far as producers. Mm-hmm. Um, but shout out some of the some, some of the producers you worked with out on a... First of all, internet money, because I know I'm not going to get to everyone, but Taz, Rio, Census, Nico, Noah. Squad um, shit. Yeah. Yeah, the whole game. <clears throat> My boy Maine did some production on Real Discussions on that, on that project. Yeah. That's hard. One of the that was one of my favorites on that, too. Close friends of ours, man. Talk to us about that song. That was, that was Miami. No, it was Paramount. What songs did we make in Miami? Because I <laughs> keep thinking that we... Okay, okay. Well, I made that out here. I, I don't know what... Right I'm here tripping. in LA. But yeah, um, it was just one of the more, like, very personal songs to me. Like, bringing people into, like, some of the conversations me and my friends have and stuff like that. So I was like, shit, this got a place on there for real. Cause it can't it's just all be sleep. me flexing on there. I yeah, gotta, yeah. I gotta know some real shit. Right. But right. see, that, that's what I like too about the album. Like, I feel like it's really, really introspective, and you let your fans into your world, right? Mm -hmm. Like on, you don't know tech. Yeah. Like you get real personal yeah, yeah, on yeah. there, um, and you even have like a line where you say you would rather be home. Mm -hmm. First time I met you was, I believe, at the uh, I forgot what venue it was, but yeah, yeah, at the, at the El Rey. Oh, that show. And uh, you know, I met you after the show, chopped it up. Your mom was there. You like, like you had your whole family there. Mm -hmm. And it was dope to see, right? Because you were still young, up and coming, but they were all like 100% full, fully mm. supportive of you. So, you know, seeing that, like, how hard is it when you have to go on the road and leave your family mm. or, you know, do things like that? Um, you know, it's work. It's, it's, it's what come with the game. So it's a good problem to have. It's a blessed problem to have. Yeah. It's not a problem at all, actually. It's just work. Yeah. So. Something you got to balance out. Yeah, something that you got to balance out. It's like... It's not really hard to balance because I, I was rapping and going to school at the same time. I had to do some crazy balances before. Hmm. So it's like, damn, yeah, straight to school, so, straight to school huh? So you know, that's, that's what come nuts. with the game. Wow, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Born to do it, chosen one, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. You, I know, I know. You, you grew up playing a lot of basketball. You still hitting that court at all? Definitely, definitely, definitely hitting the court for sure. Hooping. 
I feel like, uh, have you played ball with any other, any other artist? No, I have not. I know there's like a league. There's okay. Like a, there's like a basketball oh, league. Yeah, the Art Generation Music one? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You should yeah. get out no, of I'm there. talking about the, um, the Crew the League. Yeah, oh, there's a rapper league. league. Yeah. yeah. I know there's like that, but I haven't like. They don't want that smoke with you, bro. I'm chilling, bro. I'm retired, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but if anybody call you out, though, you coming out there. They gonna have to show me something for real. Okay, yeah, they gonna yeah, have to yeah. show me something because yeah, yeah. that's a lot on the line. Yeah, like a yeah, basketball yeah, fact, game one on one. Yeah, that's oh, like yeah, one on one. That's is like, like that's like all your respect on the line. Yeah. <laughs> all of it for real. So before that, I would have to lock in, train in, all that. Like, facts. For real, for real. Facts, facts, facts. Uh, what are you listening to right now? Anyone else you're vibing with musically? Mm. Who's on your playlist, man? Max B. Oh, free to wave. Read away, um, man. Who else am I listening to? Of course, Chief Keef. Speaking knockers. Oh, let me go to my playlist. Yeah, let's see what, what you listen man, to. Max man, Max B, that caught me by surprise, bro. Is yeah, that my brother love Max B. Yeah, man. My Max brother. B. Bigger value. Free away. He used to play crazy, that song. That song. I gotta have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta have it. Yeah. All the time around me. Cash Cobain. Mm-hmm. Um, Lil Tony. Yeah, I can't put y'all on everything, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get the songs. Yeah. You're fucking with Ken Carson, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ken Look, Carson. Ken Carson hard. hard. He on the album? Yeah. Yeah. We got Tekka in here, man. Uh, 16 joints on the new project. Just put a video out. I want to say Eves. Is that how you say it? Eves? Yeah, it's, it's Eves, yeah. <laughs> Track number one on the yeah. project. Video's dope, man. Thank you, What bro. made you start the album with this record? I felt like I had to start out with a bang, mm. but not give it all away. Mm-hmm. At the same time, kind of got to, like, lead people into what it's going to be like. Because even though that song is some turn-up shit, it kind of got, like, those melodic aspects and a calm part about it, too. So I feel like it's doesn't summarize the whole project mm -hmm. in one song, but it, it kind of gives that little start. Like, when you're creating the song, do you start to have video treatments in mind? No. Not like no. that. Okay. I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't be that far into it. What is your creative process like, though? It's very instinctual. I don't really... It's not too much of a science to it, I would say. Okay. It's kind of... It's kind of looking into the mirror, and you putting your fit on, and you're like, okay, this is hard. That's like me playing with the melodies and mm -hmm. stuff. I just play with it until, like, this is hard. Let me keep going off of this. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right, man, that new album, Tech, out now. Make sure you run those those numbers up, man. J j just w one more question for you, which we kind of touched on a little bit earlier, but I like to ask artists this a lot. You know, when things get tough for you, how do you deal with it? Like mental, like how do you work on your mental health when 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 that when that grind gets tough? Because I think it's an important thing for your fans to hear as well. Because we got a lot of people listening who you know go through stuff. Yeah. I would say you got to embrace both sides, because you know when you're happy and all that. That's the only time you could explore your happy side of your mind. And when you're down, it's the only time you could explore the down side of your mind and explore, why do I feel like this? What led me to feeling like this? What was the root cause? Because all of us know. That's the thing about us. We know. We might not want to admit it to ourselves because it might be hard. Good point. But we know. And as long as you know, you don't got to talk to everyone about it, but talk to yourself about it sometimes. Try to come down to a resolution on how you can break the cycle. Because regardless of when you're happy or down, there's going to be a time where you're happy again, then there's going to be a time when you're down again. That's right. So just prepare to be happy and prepare to be sad sometimes. Mm. Embrace it. Embrace it and hold yourself accountable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. Because when it's time to feel down, just be down real quick. Yeah. And when it's up, it's When it's time up. to be up, be up real quick. And that's a great, great example of what you're doing on, on the project, man. A lot right. of personal moments. You got your flexing moments on yeah. there, some turn-up moments. Yeah. Man, congrats on it, bro. Appreciate Good you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I know too. this is uh, you know, the, the second or third time we've linked. I look forward to many more in the Hell future. Yeah, definitely. More for blessings sure, your sure. way. You got to come to the show when I'm in LA, man, too. Man, facts, man. We pulling sure. up. That's 100%. We're going to be there. We're going to be there. Sure. I can't yeah. wait for... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love yeah. to do that. Yeah. I would love to like right. open up the show. Or something. Right. You got to do that, man. Yeah. We're going to make that happen. That I'm with right. it. Appreciate y'all, man. Fire. Thank you for coming through, man. Like I said, much more success, Thanks. much more blessings your way. 
And yeah, man, keep killing it, man. Keep following your dreams. And also, it. man, just just keep being humble, bro. Because yeah. you know, like you're not too different from the time I met you. I feel like, and that's why your fans continue to fuck with you. Because you know, you 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 show them your vulnerability, but you also show them it could be done. Yeah, and like continue to you know motivate and inspire, bro. For I appreciate real, appreciate that. Man. Yeah, thank you. Real shit. My brother, Little Tech, is here, man. For this type of content, more videos, more interviews, them crazy freestyles, we got it all. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Uh, and, and drop Notifications. Yeah, yeah, notif put them notifications <laughs> Turn on. it on. Uh, drop a comment, too. My boy might even be in the comment section tapping in with y'all. All that. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank you again for coming through. Appreciate you. I'm Just Incredible right here on Just Incredible's podcast. Peace and love. Yep. Justin. Justin. Just Incredible. Just incredible. You don't know, eh? Keep winning. Win it. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you to everyone who watched this podcast. The music you're hearing, that's provided by LA's own The Eastie Boys. If you enjoyed watching this, please hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, and while you're there, tap that subscribe button so you can subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. There's more content just like this, and trust me, a lot more on the way. To keep up with me off of YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Justin underscore credible or my TikTok. You can just search watch Justin Credible. Thank you so much for watching.